There's everything, in everything, there's anger and separation. But it's no longer something that happens to an object or a me. There is no me, there's just what is. I can't understand it. No. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's the nice part. So there's a difference, you know, there seems to be a difference it's, between... It's a story. If somebody feels they're liberated, they're in the story of becoming, of having become liberated. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just a different state? Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's a state within the story. Yeah. It has no relevance to liberation at all. Because, the, because after liberation there's nothing, there's only unknowing. So there can't be something that knows it's liberated. I mean, you know, we're really talking about something that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. In a sense, you could say the only thing that happened is that the idea that, that someone isn't liberated or the idea that somebody could become liberated simply collapses. The whole idea that there's something separate that could become liberated just <laughs> is a fallacy. Mm. And it collapses and there's nothing left. All that's left in answer to that and that question is all that's left is everything. There isn't anybody in the everything. All that's left is everything. And that would make sense that anybody engaging in an endeavour to get anywhere is in the story. Yeah. That's why it's not, not therefore possible to uh, enter the, or, um, to um, entertain the idea anymore that there is someone who needs to do something to become liberated. Mm. Because, as far as this is concerned, there isn't anybody in this room. There is no one in this room. But somebody might put it out of their hand, I'm a person! <laughs> and claim to be, and, and obviously a lot of the questions are based on the, on the feeling that there is someone sitting there, and what can I do about it? But as far as this is concerned, there's nobody sitting there. There's nobody there, there's just a body. It's just a thing that's there. And therefore, the idea of this saying to that thing, which is completely perfect and, and whole, that it needs to change to become completely healthy and whole, is actually ridiculous. <laughs> Not only is there nobody here, but there's nothing to be done. How can there be anything to be done when this is already everything? And that this is already whole? This is already fulfilled? So the whole basis of all teachings of becoming is from a sense of a me here that has become something. Helping, sincerely helping other people to become that. So the confusion is very sincere. Yeah. <laughs> but also, Usually. if an individual goes, goes from a state of, of, of torment or unhappy, uh, disconnected or unhappy or mm. longing, and they go to, they, they believe, uh, they shift dramatically to a place which feels free. Mm. It's easy to see why they, they would think that. Of course that, it is. Yeah. <clears throat> of course it is. It's similar to therapy. I mean, therapy is a very intelligent way of making the prison more comfortable. Mm. You know, and and there, there can be things that can happen to a person and they can reach a state that's much more comfortable than the one they were in before. The only problem for that is that it's in a story, therefore it's transient. Because it's a state that's moving around in a circle. And what, what hasn't been dealt with, what's been dealt with is the symptom of separation in therapy, not the root of the, the problem, if you like. So there's a state reached reached in therapy, which comes, then comes and goes. So does everything go back to a deep grief at being separated? Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's, you know, separation is at the root of all suffering and fear. <laughs> <laughs>